In this video, I'm going to show you the calculus way to prove that the volume of a rectangular prism is V is equal to the length times the width times the height. Here I've drawn the diagram for the rectangular prism. The length is L, the width is W, and the height is H. And in order to find the volume, you need to know the volume formula, which is V. So V is equal to the integral from A to B of A of Y dy. Where A of Y is the area of the cross section. You can think of a cross section as a slice of bread. The formula wants us to find the area of, let's say, this cross section, and then we add it to the area of this cross section, and then this one, and we keep doing it until we reach the very top. The integral sign means we add all of those areas of the cross sections together, which gives us the volume. The first step is to calculate A and B. So A is basically our starting point, and like I said before, we start at the bottom, and B is the stop. So B will be H, and A will be 0. The second step is to find A of Y, and A of Y is the area of the cross section. So since our cross section is a rectangle, the area of the rectangle is L times W. Let's go ahead and put it back into the formula. The third and final step is to evaluate this integral. So here L and W are both constants because they always stay the same. They don't change throughout this shape. And so because they are constants, we can move them outside of the integral. So we get L times W times the integral from 0 to H. And in here is going to be 1 dy. And why is there a 1 here? It's because you can think of this as L times W times 1, right? So when you factor out the L and W, you still have the 1 in here. This is equal to L times W times the antiderivative of 1. And that's going to be Y. And we still have the H and the 0 here. Now let's substitute H and 0 into the Y. So we have L times W times H minus 0. And so this will give us L times W times H. And that's it. This is the volume of our rectangular prism. So that's basically it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like, and also leave your questions down in the comments below. In the next video, I will show you how to find the volume of a pyramid using calculus.